M0FXB, just uh, another video. So, what it is, if you haven't got a camera for your FT3D, FT300, FT400, FT2, you need to get an image onto your SD card um, so you can send it. First thing you've got to do is get yourself an SD card, put it in the radio and format it because that will create uh, a file that looks like this on your SD card. So I'll double click it. Okay, you'll have, ignore these bottom three, you'll have all these things here. One of them's called photo. You can see I've got a photo in mine, which I will, I will delete because um, I want to show you how to get the correct photo in there. So I've been trying like crazy, resizing photos. Now you do have to resize a photo um, to the correct size for the FT3D. And I, it's in the radio. Let me just check. I think it's 320. Let's have a look on, if I can look in the radio. <clears throat> go back. You go into your menu. Go menu. I mean, it's not very good picture. Go to options. Go to USB camera and look, it says it on there. You've got two choices of size, 320 by 240. Or if you select there, 160 by 120, okay? So I've got a photo here. Now, there's two things you need. Now this, um, ham dc5 kw has has created some freeware which sort of does the work for you it doesn't resize the photo but it gets the photo in a in a state where your uh, radio will use it because before i did this it wouldn't use it so see what it says here ftm 400 xc i know it's in german um that's the one i used so you've got two here i'm not sure why there's two but that's the one I use, so, if, so double click it and run it. So basically what you end up with is this little XE here. So what you do then is get the photo you're gonna use and put it in that file. So there it is, I've called the file blur, just for easy recognition. Now you don't drag it into, because what you'd think you'd do is just drag it into your photo file, but no you don't, that doesn't work. Not sure why, it's gotta have the correct number, the correct format, whatever. So then what you do is, now at the moment, if we look in the photo file, it's blank, nothing in there. Now this does it for you, so watch this. I'll run the XE and FTM 400, and it is for, he wrote this for the FTM 400, but I've tested it, it works on the three. Actually, I have to test it on the 300, but, but anyway, let's just do this. So just okay that and you get this and see the way it's already detected that my blur photo is, is you know, is, is the one I'm going to use. And you can have more. You can have more. And then you just do control all, or, I think, to, to select them all. And it will convert them all for you. But I'm just going to convert one. So all you do is literally select it and then right click it. And it vanishes. See that? Now, if we look in photo, there it is. There's the file. It's been put there for you. It's got this special number. And I've tested it on, on the FT three and it definitely works i've tried to send it across there was an error but that's probably to do with my settings on the ft300 i just tried to send it from the ft3 to the ft300 but i'm going to keep playing but for now i'm just gonna put this video on youtube so you guys can all have a, have a play i think it's great and thanks to dc5kw for creating this uh, this executable file that does the work for us so let me know how you get on with it seven three